As my regular viewers will know, Claire and myself have just gotten into the whole Warhammer 40,000 tabletop wargaming scene. Absolutely love it. Still trying to get his head around the rules. And Claire's army of choice is going to be the Adepta Sororitas, better known as the Battle Sisters. Hello, welcome back to the Adrian Bauer Project. I'm Adrian, the face for radio. And on today's episode, I'm going to be doing a plain talking review of Warhammer 40,000's data cards for the Adepta Sororitas. So, cue the music. I paid a visit to my local model shop, which is in the Handley Arcade in Mansfield. Uh, the shop is called the War Games Emporium, of which I'll put a, uh, a link below to their website. Uh, they've got absolute ton of Warhammer uh, models in there, all the accessories and everything. And I noticed they got the Adapter Sororitas data cards in there. Now on the Warhammer site they're £15, the price tag on them was £15 in, this, in the store but they do have a discount at the minute so I managed to pick these up £13.50 so if you uh, want to get them a little bit cheaper than is on the Warhammer site then please go down Mansfield and, and pay them a visit. Okay as we can see these are still battery sealed and regular viewers will know that Claire loves the smell of new books and cards and things when they're freshly opened so I'm going to be opening these um, off screen so you don't see me taking my finger ends off with my craft knife let Claire have a quick sniff and then we'll come back and have a look at the contents okay so while I leave Claire reeling with the scent of new print let's have a look what it says on the back of the box it says this set contains 36 tactical objectives 38 stratagems and six sacred rites printed on the individual cards as a handy reference for use with your adeptive sororitas army you will need a copy of the warhammer 40,000 rules to use the contents of this set well, if you look at one of my previous videos I've already done a plain token review of the Warhammer 40,000 core rulebook as well as the codex for the Adepta Sororitas so like I say have a look at that uh, that's what you get in them books and come back let's have a look at the contents of this box so I'm just going to change the angle of which uh, my laptop's uh, camera is pointing and we can have a closer look right so as you can see it's like a flip top lid on it, it's like a packet of cigarettes and these cards are truly packed in tight in there they are really packed in tight so uh, you have to be careful taking them out of the box just put them to one side okay so here we go on the back you've got a nice illustration there I think that are they all the same no they're different they are different on the back to there so let me just have a look what these are these ones on the top are the sacred rites so that is the back of the sacred rites then you've got 
the hand of the Emperor, Spirit of the Martyr, and so forth. You've got six of those. Next set, set are stratagem cards. So you've got that's the picture on the back of that. That's truly awesome. So we've got command re-roll on there. This is what you get on these. You have to excuse me that I, I'm totally brand new to this still. So these are brand new. I'm not too sure what they are, but I'm just assuming that they are giving you the rules as a quick handy guide. So that's those. Then here we have uh, Adepter Sororitas Stratagem, it says on the top. So that is the, uh, the diagram on the back. And here we've got open the rolls. Let's have a look at what it says on there. Open the real little quiz. The RX circumstances is the most sacred of the Ministerium's holy artifacts are brought forth to aid the faithful. That's got command points. Uh, use this stratagem before the battle. Your army can have one extra relic of the Ecclesiarchy. <laughs> Sorry, that's very hard to pronounce for me. All of the relics your army includes must be different and be given different models. So it's just giving you. Uh, the choice of what relics you have and we've got all these other cards as well you've got your command points on the bottom sorry I'm, I'm being a bit vague because I am brand new to all these uh, so it's, it's all new sorry that's all I can say right order of our martyred lady stratagem so you've got all the different types that's the uh, stratagem for the Order of the Martyred Lady. We've got the one for the Valerius Heart. Uh, one for the Bloody Rose, which is what Claire, that's the Bloody Rose one. I think that's what Claire wants her army painting up as, as the Bloody Rose. So they're all different order ones. What's the back for those? Then you've got tactical objective cards. So all the rest of these are tactical objective cards. I'll just take the one off the top. That one's Slay the Heretic. So what it says on there, the enemy, enemy. <laughs> I have got, I haven't got me, uh, my teeth in properly. The enemy leaders are corrupt heretics and vile demagogues or something. Oh, I can't know. Who knows? <laughs> Who oppose the will of the? Oh my God. Ecclesiarchy and the Emperor. Show them the error of their blasphemous ways with Bolter, Flamer and Melter. Score one victory point if at least one enemy character unit was destroyed as a result of an attack made by an Adeptus Ministorum unit from your army during this turn. So that's, that's one of the uh, objectives of the game and you get your points for completing that objective. I do know that much. So you've all got all different kinds of objectives here. We've got, uh, I say, Slay the Heretic, Armour of Contempt, going through them all here. We've got Secure Objectives, one, two, three, four, five, six, Defend Objectives, and so on. Uh, all these cards, the four, is so uh, not having to get your book out every two seconds just to check they're a handy handy sort res resource source if that's what you'll call them when you're playing your game so there we go that's uh, the cards that you get in the Adeptor Sororitas uh, Warhammer 40,000 data card set so there we go uh, my apologies to those of you out there in Warhammer land that's played this game for years and you've been shouting at the screen and pulling your ear out at my pronunciation and things I might have got wrong about these cards. do apologise but like I said before, I am brand new to this. All this is new to me. Uh, you know, I'm still getting my head around the rules. I yet to play his first game, yet to paint them little figures. Uh, 
and we all have to start somewhere. Don't ever forget, never forget that once upon a time you were a beginner that knew sod all as well. So please keep that in mind. Okay, so with this this set, uh, fifteen pounds. Well, I got it for thirteen pound fifty from our local store. Is that value for money? I don't know. I think it's a bit on the expensive side myself, but you've got to have a look at it from Games Workshop's point of view. They're going to be producing these cards and it's going to be the kind of thing that you'll buy one of and you'll not buy it again. You're not going to go out and buy the same set every six months or like that. So, you know, they've got production costs, they've got staff, um, everything that comes with it, taxes, wages, you name it, it's all got to be uh, included into the price, then the place where you buy it from, they've got to make their profit from it as well, and they've got, you know, shop taxes and rent and things to pay as well, so before we start screaming that uh, absolute waste of money, you have to take them things into consideration as well, uh, but yeah, you know, so I do think it's a little bit steep just for a, a pack of cards. I think probably ten pounds, probably in my view, would have been more than enough. But hey ho, I don't make the pricing, and nobody's holding a gun to your head to uh, to buy them. Uh, I think they're a fantastic little thing. We're going to be getting plenty of use out of them, like I say, because when we start, we're going to need every bit of rule laid out in front of us so so we can we can play it right and hopefully that when we do start playing what i intend to do is hopefully i can set the laptop up so i can video us having a game so then in in the comic section you can say oh you did that bit wrong or what you should have done there or you know hints and tips that me and claire's going to need basically to get the most enjoyment out, out the game so with all that in mind i'd like to give these data cards i'm, I'm going to knock a, a, a mark off because of the price but oh, that's yeah that's up to the individual what you think pricing the pricing on these is but uh, in that mind i'll give these three and a half evil headness And there we have it. That's the end of yet another episode. Hope we all enjoyed that. And my apologies again if I got bits wrong and names wrong and you were pulling your hair out and whatever. But like I say, beginner. So there we go. Okay, so if you did enjoy that, please remember, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to my channel. It's very much appreciated. Uh, I have had a couple of new subscribers to my channel. Thank you very much for your support and of course you subscribe to my channel and I'll subscribe to yours as well because that's all as to support going your way too. Uh, don't forget as well you can follow me on my Facebook page and my Twitter page of which I will put the links down below here and with all that in mind thank you all again for watching very much appreciated and here's to what seeing you all again on the next episode of the Asian Bauer Project.